Hey, Brendan here from Bunting Labs. Today, I'm going to share with you the first look at our AI georeferencer. Uh, you probably know us already from our AI vectorizer, which is an autocomplete inside QGIS that lets you uh, vectorize raster maps more easily. And today, we're going to share with you a project that we've been working on for nearly six months now, and that is our AI georeferencer. The AI Georeferencer is a QGIS plugin that will automatically generate control points for a raster that you are georeferencing. So I wanted to share with you a demo on two maps today. So to use the AI Georeferencer, we go to Layer and open up the Georeferencer. With this Georeferencer, you can load a raster normally. And I have two maps that I'm going to show you. The first one is a map, um, this is like near Alaska and Canada, it's of Mount St. Elias. Uh, and this is actually a computer rendered map. Um, it's from a uh, popular outdoor app called CalTopo. And basically, as opposed to uh, manually adding control points and going back to the uh, browser map and adding control points in the, um, like with true latitudes and longitudes, with our AI georeferencer, it'll automatically add control points. And so this uploads your raster to the cloud and using our algorithm, we actually can create control points based on features available on the map. And so this is a really dense map. There's a lot of features that are available here that it can use. Um, for example, it's going to end up georeferencing according to the coastline. There's lakes here, maybe perhaps the uh, labeled peaks. So for example, Mount St. Elias, there's the border between Alaska and Canada, and there's even these latitude and longitude tick marks here. So this is a fairly straightforward map to uh, georeference. Um, and so we will see how it goes. Uh, this takes normally about two minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and speed up a little bit. Great. So we just got our control points from the georeferencing algorithm. And you can see that these uh, control points, because we've... Uh, loaded them straight into QGIS, we can actually go in and edit them in case they're a little bit wrong. But we are going to just save it and see where it is. So this was done entirely automatically and now it's overlaid our GeoTIFF with the map. Now if we evaluate accuracy, we can see, especially near the coastline, it's really good. Um, there's not much air there. And we can even compare where the uh, Alaska and Canada border is. And you can see it's probably within like 0.5%. Um, so this is pretty reasonable. If we wanted a higher level of accuracy, because the algorithm just generates control points, I can actually go in and move the specific control points. So that's our first example. But this has a lot of information on it. What about maps that are a little bit more difficult to georeference? Well, let's take a look at uh, second map that I have. So this is actually a really old reconnaissance photo taken um, actually in the 1960s and this is an airstrip in Los An or outside of Los Angeles. And so this is very different from the last map. There's not men there's no text on the entire image. Uh, there's no uh, hints as to its general location. Um, and so I good question is will the AI referencer be able to help me here? And even though this is on the other side of the spectrum, we can actually uh, tell the AI referencer, generally where this location is by panning on the QGIS map. And so I know that this, um, this airstrip is in uh, the Edwards Air Force Base outside of Los Angeles. And so actually, if I zoom in here and then return to the AI Georeferencer and hit generate control points, it's going to use uh, my zoomed box in QGIS uh, to help it georeference. And so uh, it, you can really teach, you can really use the AI Georeferencer as a co-pilot in helping you georeference things more quickly. Um, this is also going to take about two minutes, so let's fast forward here. Okay, so we got our control points from the Georeferencer. Let's take a look at what that ends up matching to. So let's render it. And we can go back to the... QGIS to see the runway so we can see that in the center of the control points 
<coughs> it has georeferenced the roads and some of the buildings here to be right over the target area. There's a little bit of distortion next to the runway, and I think this is because it's preferred drawing control points uh, over here as opposed to dispersing them throughout the map. That's something that we'll continue to work through during our beta. The beta process will have uh, organizations and digitizers on our pro tier. They'll be getting access to the AIG referencer first. After that, we'll be rolling out to a more general audience. So if you are interested in trying out the AIG referencer, you should drop us a line. Uh, you can email us, you can email me at brendan at buntinglabs.com and you can email my co-founder Michael at michael at buntinglabs.com. Uh, and we'd be happy to hear about what you're interested in using the AIG Referencer for and what you thought was most cool about it. Um, yeah, happy digitizing.